To think about brutalism is to think about concrete. The term originated from beton bleu, French for raw concrete. So what is brutalism? Brutalism wasn't a movement exactly, but it was a term applied to the architectural style of exposed rough concrete and large modernist block forms which started in the 1950s and flourished in the ensuing 20 years. It's a set of ideas that emerged after the Second World War. It's the exact opposite of the machine aesthetic championed by the early modernists. You can't straightforwardly do modernity anymore. You need something more human. The first brutalist building, the first one generally agreed as brutalist, is Le Corbusier's Unité d'Habitation. It's a huge concrete framed, concrete facade, concrete structure. It has pilotis, which are columns which lift the whole structure off the ground, and it has an amazing sculptural roof. It's mainly flats, but with cafes and a school for residents too. It's not a pretty building, but it's an incredibly simple, powerful image. Anyone can draw it, having seen it for a few moments. Le Corbusier said that uh, architecture was about establishing moving relationships with raw materials. In other words, brutalism is supposed to make you feel something. One of the most important people to write about brutalism is Rainer Bannum. He got that brutalism was all about feeling. He wrote a long polemical essay in 1955 on the topic called The New Brutalism in the influential magazine The Architectural Review. Bannum cited Le Corbusier on feeling at the start of his article his essay says three things. First of all, it's about memorability as an image. Second, there's a clear exhibition of structure. And third, he writes that there is a valuation of material as found. You instantly get what a brutalist building looks like, you can see how it's made, and you can see what it's made of. All of these things added up to a kind of architecture which is really about feeling. It's about creating a, a felt impression primarily. So this is a very different way of looking at architecture from, say, the way Le Corbusier was thinking in the 1920s of a, a machine-like architecture. This is architecture to create feeling in the observer. This is Dennis Lasdon's National Theatre, completed in 1976 after quite a protracted building process and Prince Charles thought it looked like a nuclear power station. Of course, it isn't a nuclear power station, but what Charles meant was that it was an industrial-looking building, something that was rather bleak and uncompromising, something that didn't look like a theatre. But that was the point, <laughs> and the point of, of that national theatre and many of the other structures on London's South Bank is to create a kind of arts complex which is not like the rest of the world an arts complex which is tough and uncompromising and maybe makes you feel a little bit unsettled, sort of taken slightly outside of the everyday world. I would tend to think of brutalism more as an art tendency than anything else. The main monuments of brutalism are so much more than functional architecture and how they work or what they want you to look at is surface, sculptural qualities, they want you to feel something. They want you to have an experience in relation to them, which is much more like an art experience. They want you to have an aesthetic experience. Brutalism is all about making you feel something.